I'm Theo Ngazan from Troop 2223. I'm a cadet at Coral Reef. My Civil War project is to help our pollinator and butterfly larvae. Our larvae is getting eaten up by the overpopulation of ducks and peacocks. It's their favorite food. I decided to create a plant fencing to help protect our larvae so that they can mature and fly away. This is made to protect one to two plants that will host larvae and protect them from ducks and peacocks. Some butterflies that are at risk of extinction are the Miami blue butterfly, the Shaw swallowtail, and the Atala butterfly. Our Miami blue butterfly can lay up to 300 eggs on a single plant. The Atala butterfly can only be found in southeast Florida, and its decline is caused by loss of plants and loss of larvae. They are most affected by invasive species like our peacocks. Some suggested plants are the scorpion tail plant, the snow square stem plant, and the salvia plant because of its rich nectar flowers. The salvia plant attracts butterflies such as the swallowtail, skipper, and brushfoot butterflies such as the monarch and morning cloak. How does this fencing work? This fencing guards flowering plants from all four sides and the top so that the peacocks and ducks can't reach the larvae. The hole in the fences are large enough for a butterfly to get in and out, but small enough for a peacock and duck's head not to reach. The top is especially important because peacocks and ducks love to jump on things. Especially peacocks, they are adventurous. What if you don't have a yard? You can just plant your plant in a pot. If you're on the second floor, you just need a potted plant, no fencing, because ducks and peacocks don't like to go that high. If you're on the ground floor, you can use this fencing. Just clamp the walls at the corners. I challenge each household to build one of these plant fencings in their property. Just imagine if the 7,799 households in the village of Palmetto Bay each did one of these. Imagine if just two butterflies were saved. That's more than 15,000 butterflies. Remember, one butterfly can lay up to hundreds of eggs. That means that the numbers could potentially be much greater. We could help our local butterfly, the Miami Blue Butterfly, get off the endangered list. And don't worry about food for the peacocks and ducks. Miami has many insects. Please show support to our local pollinators by downloading my e-manual, which will walk you through making your very own plant fencing. Thank you so much to the village of Palmetto Bay and you for watching this video.